everything's set up properly, you can right click the FXML file and choose Open in Scene Builder from the bottom. If that doesn't work, you need to configure IntelliJ to fill out the path to the Scene Builder EXE. And you could just open the FXML file straight from Scene Builder. You don't have to go through IntelliJ necessarily. I'm going to add a tab pane uh, container. I'm going to add a few controls. Uh, usually with uh, graphical user interface programming, you get input in a text box, you do output in a label, and you trigger code to happen in a button click. I'm going to add those elements and just move them around a little bit. Now, the important thing is to set the ID on any controls that you're going to use in code. We're going to use all three of these uh, controls in code. So I'm going to open up the code section. Um, you can use a standard prefix. Um, our naming conventions, I'm going to do ETN for the button. Now the on action is where you put the name of the method that you want to be called when the button is clicked. Usually that's with a verb in lower camel case. I'm going to start the text box with TXT and start this with LBL. And I'm just going to have whatever the user types in the text box show up in the label whenever the button gets clicked. I'm going to clear the text out of the text box. I'm going to make sure to save this file so that the code ends up back over in IntelliJ. I'm going to do view show sample controller skeleton. And these are what you need for the controller file in IntelliJ. You need to make sure that the controller name matches up from Scene Builder to IntelliJ. And then you're going to take the code that you copied from Scene Builder and paste it into IntelliJ. Have to paste everything. If there was some code already in the controller, we could have just pasted the new stuff related to the new controls that we added. I'm just going to get the text from the text box and assign it to the text of the label. Now, some stuff didn't pop up automatically. I had to uh, reopen this project because this should have been read right away as it is now. I'm going to import, whenever you're working with JavaFX, you always want to import um, the JavaFX stuff, not the AWT stuff. All right, so now that all that's working, I'm going to run this, and the text appears in my label.